other thing that I do to ensure Fusion Teal is I limit medicines and supplements and different products that affect healing. What is the number one worst thing for you to do after surgery? Smoke, dip, chew, even gum, even patches. Nicotine is our number one worst enemy in addition to non-compliance. So if you're wearing your brace and you're not smoking, you're not dipping or chewing, and there's no nicotine in your body, and you're careful about how you move and, and bend, then your chance of healing are maximized. Nicotine is a killer to fusion. So the reason that nicotine is so bad is because what happens when our, when our body is exposed to nicotine in any form, our blood vessels constrict. That constriction stops blood flow. Healing happens through a process of blood flow. We have a, a, a preferential increase in the amount of blood that literally is redirected to any site of injury, which is what surgery is considered by the body. So the body preferentially shunts blood to the area of surgery. That's what swelling is. That's what inflammation is. That's what throbbing pain is. It's increased blood flow. Anything that we do that inhibits that blood flow inhibits the healing factors to the freshly treated bones. And so what happens is our fusion rates drop. There are some studies that show fusion rates drop 50% and even higher. So 50%, that's like flipping a coin to the success of your spine. And the last thing that I want, and I'm pretty sure the last thing a patient wants, is a surgery with a 50% chance of healing. For me, I do everything I can to optimize the success of the surgery. And so why would I allow a patient to smoke? I wouldn't. So my protocols have always been since 2004 that I can't do a fusion on someone who does not stop intaking nicotine of any source for six weeks before surgery and they have to stay away from nicotine they have to literally they have to they have to eliminate all the nicotine exposure for a total of a year after the fusion so at that point for other medical reasons there's really no reason to start nicotine again and so hopefully there's a secondary bonus and side benefit of, of healing properly from your surgery by avoiding nicotine and that you preserve your life and your and your and your longevity by avoiding nicotine in the future. But it's very vital to having your surgery succeed. The other thing, believe it or not, that inhibits our healing is anti-inflammatory medications. Why? Same reason. What do anti-inflammatories do? They decrease inflammation. Inflammation is God's way of getting blood flow to the surgery site. So if we inhibit that inflammation, we're inhibiting blood flow. And by the same token, just like nicotine, it inhibits our healing. Studies have been very clear and showing that anti-inflammatory medications, which includes medicines like Mobic and Motrin and Aleve, Aspirin, remember all the other medicines that are similar, Advil, Ibuprofen, they're all cousins, they're all similar, just different names for the same product. All of those medications inhibit your fusion. So you don't wanna take those medicines two weeks before surgery because they make you bleed more, and you don't wanna take them for up to six months after surgery because they inhibit the fusion from healing. Those are the main things that I tell my patients to do to avoid to ensure that they heal.